Hey, TVs, it's Psychic Bob. Well, it is so good to be with you. You guys are rocking. I got to say thank you. Thank you to all of you who came out to yesterday's video. Uh, yesterday we had messages from the spirit world. If you didn't see that, that's in the video queue right before this video. So definitely go over and check it out. Uh, if you're new here, that's a weekly video where I do little mini psychic readings for people who write in. So if you see that, you'll learn how to write in and you can be part of messages from the spirit world. You guys are wonderful. Well, I tell you, it's Wiccan Wednesday. And, you know, I've been out today. You know, I go everywhere with my new Louis Vuitton bag. Y'all saw my videos on that. And I just, I have fun. I took my bag out for a walk today. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I was at lunch today and I was just thinking how cool, you know, practicing the craft is. And, you know, this bag's so wonderful because I carry a lot of treasured things in it. And uh, it's big. I fit in here all these books and a lot of other stuff. But, you know, I was here and I was looking at my book of shadows and I was thinking, you know, how wonderful it is to have your own private book of shadows. And, you know, if you've been wanting to, you know, to, to develop your spiritual practice more, you might want to pop over to Lady Angela's site at Rare Wicca Spells and get one of these. She custom makes these. They're handmade. This one's done in purple velvet and it's got beautiful silver ends on it. Isn't that beautiful? It's got silk ribbons in it. It's just beautiful. And she does like she did mine with a raven. She does all sorts of books. She'll do whatever you want. So if you'd ever liked to have the luxury of a hardbound custom book of shadows, it's a wonderful thing. So definitely check it out. And also while you're there, she got great jewelry. You know, I always I've been wearing lately this charm. And I got this from Lady Angela. And uh, she carries these at her site also. They're little tiny pinnacles. Aren't they great? So definitely pop over there. I actually, actually, I think she also carries this ring. Now, I didn't buy my ring from her because she didn't have my size. But she does now carry this at her site. So you can get you can get all sort of cool Wiccan stuff over there. That's where I buy all my jewelry, and it's great. Her products are the best. You guys are wonderful. Well, you know, today while I was at lunch, I was looking at my Book of Shadows, and I also was looking through my Scott Cunningham book. This is one of my favorite books. Uh, Wicca, A Guide for the Solitary Practitioner. I recommend this for people interested in the craft as well. Um, and you know, it's interesting because this was actually my very first exposure to a book of shadows. And uh, what's really cool about this book is Scott Cunningham gives an introduction to Wicca. He teaches the basics, um, teaches some spells, teaches, you know, the history of the craft, teaches about the Lord and Lady, all of that is in here. But then the back section is section three, and it says the Standing Stone Book of Shadows. And he created, you know, he didn't create, well, he did create it, but this is a book that he had for many years, about 15 years of teaching the craft. And so he decided to release it to the public because he said, you know, he felt that it's time is through when Wic Wiccans have to hide everything. He said in the old days, the old covens, kept their book of shadows so secret you never could see it. But he said, we're in a different time and people should have access to the teachings. And so he, he created this book. Anyways, he has a, at the intro uh, different things, you know, um, about the book of shadows and he has about uh, the nature of our way before time was. It's kind of like an overview of creation. But he has the first thing in his book is called Words to the Wise. And I really love this. This was inspiring me today. And I thought I would come here and read this to you. Oops, hold on, my machine's going off here. So um, anyways, this is taken from the Standing Stone Book of Shadows. So I wanted just to, to read that to you and give you some, some things to think about. You know, I'm thinking about pinning this, uh, you know, copying it by hand into my book from Lady Angela's, uh, into Lady Angela's book she gave, made me. Because inside of Lady Angela's book, she puts in blank pages so that you can actually write your own prayers, spells, invocations. And this is one of these kind of words of wisdom that I think would be great in here. So I'm gonna probably put that in here, but I wanted just to share this with you today. So pull up your chairs and have a listen, okay? This is called Words to the Wise. And it says, O oh, daughters and sons of the earth, adore the goddess and God and be blessed with fullness of life. 
know that know that they have brought you to these writings for herein lie our ways of wicca to serve and fulfill the keepers of wisdom the tenders of the sacred flame of knowledge run the rites with love and joy and the goddess and god will bless you with all that you need but those who practice dark magics shall know their greatest wrath remember that you are of the wicca no more do you trod the way of doubt. You walk the path of light, ever climbing from shadow to shadow to the highest realms of existence. But <clears throat> though we are the bearers of truths, others do not wish to share our knowledge. So we run our rights beneath moon-filled skies and wrapped in shadows, but we are happy. Live fully, for that is the purpose of life. Refrain not from earthly existence. From it we grow to learn and understand, until such time that we are reborn to learn more, repeating this cycle until we have spiraled up the path of perfection and can finally call the goddess and God our kin. Walk the fields and forests, be refreshed by cool winds and the touch of a nodding flower. The moon and sun sing in the ancient wild places. The deserted seashore, the stark desert, the roaring waterfall. We are of the earth and should revere her, so do her honor. Celebrate the rites on the appropriate days and seasons and call upon the goddess and God when the time is meet, but use the power only when necessary, never for frivolous ends. Know that using the power for harm is a perversion of life itself. But for those who love and magnify love, the richness of life shall be your reward nature will celebrate so love the goddess and god and harm none isn't that beautiful that's taken from scott canningham's book wicca a guide for the solitary and it's the intro to the standing stone book of shadows so you know if you're new to the concept of a book of shadows I recommend you read this book, study his book of shadows. And then when you get your own book of shadows, if you do decide to go to Lady Angela's site and have her make you one, you'll be starting on a path with knowledge and awareness. And I tell you, my book of shadows is sacred to me. You know, a lot of religions have their holy text. The Christians have the Bible. The Muslims have the Quran. The Jewish people have the Torah. So people say to me, well, what's your sacred book? Well, the truth is Wicca doesn't have a defined scripture. We're not a scriptural religion. But if we were to have a sacred book, I think each Wiccan could say that their book of shadows is their sacred book. So anyways, I come with you, come here today to share those thoughts with you. And I hope you'll check out Scott Kenningham's book, Wicca, A Guide for the Solitary. Wonderful, wonderful book. There you go. And when you're ready, get your own book started and ask Lady Angela to help you. You can contact her at rarewickaspells.com. I'll put the link in the info box below. But uh, definitely visit her site, inquire, send her a note, tell her that you know you wanted to, to learn about Book of Shadows and buy one. Um, she's running a special. If you use the code at checkout, she has a checkout, you know, when you check out on her website and it says, do you have a coupon code? If you put the word spirit channel in there, she'll give you 10% off your order. So definitely, you know, it's worth your time. Pop over there, have her make you a book. She also does loose leaf pages. If you don't want a bound one, she can do like three, 500 pages, 300, 500, 600 big pages. I have a big one. Actually, I don't have it here with me. It's too heavy to carry. But um, I have a big book as well. But for my Louis Vuitton bag, this was perfect. And I say, have Louis Vuitton, we'll travel. Got my magic book. 
and I'm on the go. <laughs> but anyway, guys, thanks for being here today. You guys rock. I hope it gives you a little insight. Think about that. Tomorrow is Zodiac Thursday, so I'd love for you guys to send me some some questions. You can put them in the this video in the box below. The question or the the um, what do you call it? The comments box. Put your question for tomorrow. If you want to ask me something astrologically, you know, uh, let me know. Maybe you want to say, well, what's the best date, you know, in the month of June for a wedding? Or I'm thinking about doing a job interview either Thursday or Friday of next week. What day is better? Things like that. And uh, I'll pull a letter tomorrow. We're going to put a chart together and answer your question. So definitely be here for Zodiac Thursday. You guys are wonderful. I send you my love, and may you always bless and be. We'll see you back here soon. Oh, by the way, if you want to help Psychic Bob, like this video, favorite it, share it with your friends, hit subscribe, be part of our channel. And if you decide to, you know, watch the advertisement and learn something from the ads, that wouldn't hurt either. That would be a way to help Psychic Bob. You guys are the best. I love you. We'll see you back here tomorrow. Until then, blessed be.